and I like totally totally just didn't know like what to do and I was panicking and I was freaking out I tried to call Carter and Steven but I didn't have any service on my phone because I'm like in a different country <laughs> What is up guys? Welcome back to the most epic channel on YouTube. Welcome to another awesome day. If you guys are new here, I'm Carter Share. This is Lizzie Liz. Turn the camera. Hi guys. And uh, smash that subscribe button and let's get this day started, okay? Ooh, okay. I'm on the plane and I'm ready to go home. I miss Millie and Otter so much. I can't wait to see them. And I don't know where Carter and Steven are, but I think they're like behind me somewhere. So right now it says like the flight time is about, about five hours. So five hours until I get to see Millie and baby Otter. I'm so excited. Ooh, okay, we made it off the plane and I'm so excited to get home. Oh my gosh. I can't even imagine what Millie and Otter are gonna be like when they see me. Okay guys, so I was at the airport and I got off the plane and I realized that Carter and Steven were both not on the same plane as me. So I totally panicked and I was trying to film but then I was like too anxious and like scared because I didn't know where I was and like where Carter and Steven were and I got off the plane and I was looking all around me trying to figure out where I was and stuff. and. I found out that I'm actually in Thailand. So I like fell asleep the entire plane ride. I just woke up in Thailand. Carter and Steven were nowhere to be found. I think they might have made it home. I don't know. It's like 3 a.m. over here. The next day. Okay guys, so another update. I woke up this morning and oh my goodness, this place is beautiful. Last night while I was coming over to my hotel, I couldn't see anything because it was so dark and it was so late at night. But I woke up today and Check out my view. Look at this. Look at the palm trees. Look at the beach. I just want to go home, but it's so nice here. I want to explore. So maybe I'll just like spend a few days here and like explore and check it out. And then kind of just like relax a little bit while I figure out how to get home. And today I am still stuck in Thailand, but I decided to go for a little stroll in the park and I'm meeting up with my friend Chicky Pie. So that's exciting. She told me that she knows how I can get home and I don't know, it's just really fresh over here. So we're just gonna like go for a walk and stuff and she's gonna tell me how to get home. Okay, so I gotta find Chicky Pie and Jow. Uh, I think they said they're in the park somewhere here. So, hmm. Do you guys see them anywhere? Oh, I think they're right there. <gasps> Chicky Pie! <laughs> <laughs> to know how to get home. I need to figure out how to get home. I can help you. I can yes, help you. Okay. I'm a professional. Okay. Ooh, how do you get lost? Oh, I don't know. I got on the wrong flight and I just somehow like got to Thailand. I don't know what happened. Hey, Chicky Pai, In my last vlog, Chicky Pai told me the only way to get home with the little amount of money that I had was to get to the U.S. by boat. She said that there's a dock that I can get to by taxi for only 50 baht, which is equivalent to about a dollar and 50 cents. She said that once I get there, there's a boat that leaves every 30 minutes. Once we finally got across the cage, it was so dark, so we put some candles in the water to help light the way. Finally, we got to the other side and there was a boat waiting for me. I got on that boat and continued on. Whew, okay, we made it off the boat and we are at the island. Check it out. Look at all these boats lined up. They're all lined up. I think everybody refuels here and this bay is actually so beautiful. Look at this. And we are going to get some food and refuel here. I think we're gonna get all back on the boat um, after we just hang out here for a little bit. This is such a secluded island and I cannot get over the fact that the water is so clear and so blue over here. This is so awesome. I think the boat's like done refueling and stuff, so I'm gonna head back to the beach and see if the boat is ready to go. Let's go back. Then I got back on the boat and we passed an island called Monkey Island. There were monkeys all over the rocks and they were diving into the water for food. I 
have a long way to go before I make it back to the very place I call home. I'm scared and I'm nervous, but most of all excited.